There you go. So, uh, two weeks ago, I had pretty much said the PXC was going to be on hold for a while. That same day, literally the morning of that day, I uh, found out that Gray Wyatt uh, had passed away. That hurt. Big time. Um, I didn't expect a new news like that to ever come out. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I expected, like... God, I didn't expect anything. I didn't even think this was actually going to happen. Because it was just... It mind boggles me. I'm still... Even right now, I'm still not used to the news. It's still hard to believe that he's gone. Yes, it's been like two weeks, but... It shows how much of an impact he's made on not just WWE, but the entire wrestling community. Which, somebody this influential was able to, like, impact everybody. See, Jill was based off Luke Harper. Uh, you can sort of see it by the outfit that was used, uh, the whole, like, arm pieces he has and everything like that. And, um... That, that's pretty much where I got the idea for C. Jill. I always saw him as like being somewhat similar to like Luke Harper. Pretty much that's who C. Jill was supposed to be for me and that's how I was able to like cope with it. Because it was sort of like seeing Luke Harper continue. And sort of same thing with like when Luke Harper died, C. Jill's creation is what helped. So that's where today, this episode of PXT is uh, every wrestler, including the other creative wrestlers uh, that are not mine. Um, I hope people are okay with this. They didn't do major edits to them. I just gave them a second attire. And everybody today, besides two people, because um, they're assholes, um, everybody will have the armband and will have Bray Wyatt's symbol. Um, this episode is dedicated to Bray Wyatt and his family. But, um, nevertheless, uh, time to get started with the show. You can see the riding on the pavement. Young kids, they're growing up in basements. Online, a whole new generation. I'ma make mine, so you better go take it. Always, they need a new replacement. Decentralized. Make all the demons quiet, yeah, we were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah, we were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough, yeah I think that we've all had enough Sick of dealing with the old plan They know that we're calling them wrong Welcome to PXC, ladies and gentlemen, the Bray Wyatt tribute episode. Pretty much everybody is going to be wearing an armband that has Bray Wyatt's symbol, and that's what you guys will be seeing today. Pretty much everybody in PXT has this, and in later future, we'll use the second attire for this type of event as well. Um, interesting little bout that happened two weeks ago, where we were crowning the newest number one contender for the PXT championship. It was between Bone Tubular, Shane Henry, and Jake Lawler. Uh, Jake Lawler was able to like actually pick up the like final hit to secure the like actual pin, but Bone Tubular was actually the one to, you know, steal the win. Literally threw Jake Lawler out, went for the pin on Shane Henry, and one, two, three. Now Bone Tubular is the number one contender for that match. But now we have word that Shane was actually not just upset but he was also just like saying pretty much bone had to get assists to put him down there was no way that bone could beat him in a 1v1 match so that's why tonight ladies and gentlemen tonight it is gonna be bone tubular against shane henry Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the man that was able to secure the win on the last episode of PXC, and now he is going to the triple threat match for the PXC championship. That's right, it's Bone Tubular, the fastest high flyer in PXT. 
And you know what? He was quick enough to steal the win. We'll say that right here, right now. Bone Tubular here to prove that not just his win was just a fluke, that he was just stole the win. No, he's here to prove that his win was cemented and his win earned him the damn spot. That he can actually put down Bugrip Grip and Rodrigo. But now the question is... And Shane Henry get some payback. Shane Henry hasn't had like a good start in his career so far. This is going to be his third match in PXT actually. But he hasn't had a good start. But you know what? I have faith. I have faith Shane can actually pull out the victory here. Shane Henry is the outcast of PXT right now. But you know what? Even an outcast can climb to the very top. Case in points. I'll come back to you on that. But either way. And Henry looking to cement himself as not just a fluke. Or correction. Correction. Trying to prove to everybody that the win that Bone Tubular got on him was nothing more than a fluke. So that's why we're having this match. Now, no, this isn't going to change anything for Hellfire for the main event, but it is just to see if Bone Tubular could actually take him. Oh, look at that great reversal from Shane. Bone was already trying to go for the high-speed offense that he normally starts off with, but Shane looks like he's already starting. Fall on at it with a springboard clothesline. Shane, Shane's wanting to make a statement here today. He's already tired of losing twice. He wants to prove that he deserves to be here in PXT. And not just that, he wants to prove that the win was nothing more than a fluke. Oh, oh! He is at the stop! Oh! He had a big stomp on the head of Bone, but Bone immediately just rolled out. It looks like it wasn't even close to enough to, like, try putting him down. But even with that, Shane still has full control of the match. And now, oh, beautiful move there, beautiful move, not really beautiful, but you know what I mean. Bone right now getting full control of the match, taking control on the outside of the ring, not so much inside at the moment. Now Bone trying to go in with a speedy offense that he normally comes in with. Oh, but Shane, looking to do a comeback himself, gets him on the barricade, and now... What's Shane going for? Oh my god! Oh! Back first into the steel barricades! Now Shane Henry's back on the inside and now... Oh, 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 okay, I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> if Bone stayed out there, that would have been beautiful moves. Oh! He shot that. Oh, another big punch. Oh, big punch there. And right now, it looks like this could be Shane's opening to do some good offense. Oh, but Bone caught him into that spinning hair. Come on! And right now, Bone has control, but Shane quickly rolling out. They need to take a moment right now. Both, just want to point out, both gentlemen have armbands that have the symbol of Bray Wyatt. Uh, some, we had told wrestlers today that if they would like, they could put on both arms or just one chest if they would like. Either or. Tom took it, uh, took way more inspiration, actually. You guys will see that later on tonight. Right now, look at this. Shane's now looking to actually make a big comeback here. And, oh, big clothesline there. Going for the pin on Bone. Bone quickly kicking out on one after that series of strikes. Holy shit. I got to get props there. That was actually really fucking good. Look at this, Shane, feeling pumped up right now. Oh my god, go showing the high flyer that he can go high flying to. Shane Henry, the outcast of PXT, showing everybody that maybe what he says is true, that that win was nothing more than a fluke. Oh, but Bone... See, it looks like, if anything, what Shane needs to do is get him back in the ring because he can take control inside the ring. Bone is taking control on the outside and doing massive damage on the outside. Oh, goes in for the big chop there, but misses. Now, oh, oh, uh, uh, I think both men missed. I don't know if the back of the heel of Bone hit Shane. I honestly don't know. Looks like Bone's trying to get back in the ring. And look at that. Bone just taunting away there. 
Oh, what's Bone going for? Bone got him on the shoulders. Drops him! Face first on the top ropes! Now, it looks like Bone's looking to damage the legs of Shane. Oh my god, look at this. Springboard action! Hand hits him with a springboard bulldog! No, I do want to point out, Bone technically only has one loss in his career to where Shane has two. But, okay, Bone's going for the pin. Is it going to be enough? Oh, Shane, using expert knowledge of his whereabouts to quickly grab the ropes. Sorry for the loudness of the mic. We are going to lower the mic down a little bit. Oh, look at that. Shane with a great reversal. Him with a body slam. Could this be it? Oh, he hits! He hits Assassin's Creed! He hits the Assassin's Creed. Is that enough? One, two, no. Bone is still going. He's able to hit the Assassin's Creed. Oh, hits an inverted DDT. Right now, it looks like, it looks like this could be Shane's... Build up to actually gaining his first win, but look at this! Oh! Good move there, and getting Shane into a submission hold! Is Shane gonna tap out here tonight? Oh, but look at this, Shane rolling over to get out of it! Oh, look at it! Oh, look at this! Show of frustration here! Shane does not want to lose here tonight, and he is showing his frustration from losing not just week one, but week two! Oh, look at this! Oh! Beautiful! One! Two! No! Bone kicks out! Oh, but Shane, probably looking for, for another... Oh, but Bone quickly reverses! Oh! Hits a code breaker! And Shane quickly rolling out. I think he realizes that Bone can quickly go for that Bone Spike. Oh! Misses the elbow drop, and now Shane! Oh! I believe he just full on messed up the head. Oh, look at this. Oh, big ripcord D. Shane needs to get him back in the ring if he wants to win this. Holy shit. Oh, big Uranagi. Shane is just, Shane's at this point just full on abusing Bone. Oh, but Bones, the Bones still not out. Oh, I think Bones trying to get back in the ring, which is probably a good call. No, look at that Bone being defiant as ever, and Shane's just taking advantage of that defiance. Oh, here it is, a big power bomb to Bone. Oh, look at this, Shane's going for another one. It's another one. He had two big power bombs there. Oh, I think Shane was going for something, but so was Bone. What's Shane going for? He's going to the top rope. Shane going for an elbow, but misses. Could this be Bone's opportunity? Bone Spike! Here it is! One, two, no! Shane kicks out a Bone Spike. Both men are showing great athleticism here tonight. It is. It's a snap suplex right there. Bones taking full control. Shane was able to kick out a bone spike. But now the question is, can Shane capitalize? Looks like he probably could. Attacking the legs, which is pretty smart unless he does that. Kicks him across the temple. Ooh, now kicking him up on the gut. Bone just now taking pure offense. Oh, look at this. It looks like Bone trying to rally here. Oh, tripping up Shane. That question is, is this it? Oh, here it is. Oh, beautiful. And Bone's going straight for the pin. One, two. Shane kicks out. Also, I apologize I'm forgetting names of moves. Uh, it's It's been two weeks. <laughs>
Bone throwing Shane to the corner. What's Bone planning here right now? Getting Shane to the top. Oh! Shane looking to reverse. What's Shane going for? Shane going for a big Uranagi! Not done though. Shane's not done. Is he going to hit? Sausage Creed! Here it is for the win on Bone! One! Two! And Shane picks up his victory, proving to everybody that his win was nothing. That Bones win was nothing more than a fluke. Congratulations to Shane. Holy crap. Shane was able to pick up a big win against Bone. And that gives Bone his... Actually, it gives Bone his second loss here in PXT. But uh, congratulations, Shane. You actually... What, man? <laughs> Shane picks up the victory here against Bone, proving everybody that... Yeah, he's in it. Now on to the rest of the show. Uh, next up, pretty much last week, Satoshi decided to... Test his waters against the devil to prove to, to see if devil was actually worth his time and devil was actually able to give Satoshi his first loss here in PXT So because Satoshi is now a bit fearful of devil I believe Satoshi is now looking for another target and in this case It looks like he found his target In the shape of devil's brother himself. That's right Satoshi Makoto is challenging Justin here tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match to see if maybe Justin will be part of the syndicate. Here is, ladies and gentlemen, the next match of the night. Now, no, this episode is a tribute to Bray Wyatt himself, but sadly, some people refuse to take part in it, and this is one of the people himself. Yes, Satoshi Makoto refused to take part in wearing the sash here in PXT. In other words, uh, he is one of the few that did not wear it. He saw it as a waste of time. And because of that, yeah, you know, pretty much just showing the disrespect that this man has. It's showing that not only, showing not only that he doesn't give a crap about the wrestling community in general, but that he's here for business. In this case, making money, making moolah. That's why he comes out in his $20,000 suit. As he says. Looking to claim another man in his organization. Right now he has Ace. Question is, can he get a former Brotherhood member? Because now... Now he's going to have to fight a legend. Now, I want to point out something. Justin has not had the best of luck here in PXT so far. Uh, believe it or not, he actually has not won a match here at all. You can see, though, Justin is one of the few that did decide to wear the sash to honor Gray Wyatt himself. Honestly, even when he heard that uh, he passed away, he he did not even believe it. He thought it was nothing more than a hoax. But um, yeah, when he found out, it was a uh, it was it left an imprint on him as well. Because, like we said, outside or inside the wrestling world, if you see anything creepy, that's like what the fuck with WWE. More than likely, it was Bray Wyatt. And even my brother was even like, holy crap. But then again, don't lie. I won't lie on this. He did say that if anything, he was trying too hard to be Undertaker. Which, in all honesty, I never saw that. I saw Bray Wyatt being a man in his own thing and trying literally anything and making everything work. And tonight, we are honoring him and his legacy. Wish I had a vignette. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like what WWE did. Honestly, that thing was beautiful. It made me fucking cry. Here it is, Satoshi Makoto, Justin. Here we go, Justin and Satoshi going straight at it. Satoshi quickly going in for blocks to block the offense of Justin. And so far, it looked like it worked. Oh, but Justin coming in with a jumping neck breaker. And oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! That was a top rope springboard moonsault! Holy shit! 
All right, looks like Justin's coming out straight out the bat. Pretty much, I think this tribute may be, oh, maybe pushing Justin to go try hard tonight. Oh, look at that. Satoshi coming in with a suicide dive. Holy shit. Kelsey showing the legendary high flyer that he can high fly too. Now, this is an interesting predicament because Satoshi is a technical type of fighter. He likes weakening down his opponent as much as possible. And not just that, he loves cheating as well. So in one-on-one, -on -one, this is actually pretty interesting. Especially since Ace is actually not here. Uh, helping him out on ringside. So that's where this has also got a little bit more interesting as well. And look at that. Ooh. An inverted Frankensteiner. But didn't even phase the legend. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. Big boo from Satoshi. Right now, Satoshi's just taking full control over Justin. Justin's just having a tough time just coming back in it. I think he was going for a springboard, but go oh, quickly gets caught in a suplex. Oh, Satoshi. I think Satoshi's taking out frustrations right now because of last week he was not only embarrassed by getting his first loss in PXT, but I believe everybody is now saying in the back that he is fearing the devil, uh, the devil himself. And I think right now he's trying to prove everybody wrong by taking on the devil's brother. Oh, look at that Satoshi with the mist! And hits him across the face. Is that enough to put down Justin? One, two. No, Justin's still going. I think. I think Satoshi's realizing some. <laughs> Look at that. The, I believe we heard in the crowd. Five forever. Look at that. Oh! Beautiful catch into a DDT on the outside. All oh, both men trying to go for. Uh, Leave a grapple type move. And right now, Satoshi's just, again, just taking control over Justin. Justin not being able to come back at it. Ooh, big chops to the chest. Satoshi really... Oh, God! Okay. I thought he was going to hit the still steps. I'm not going to lie to you. And, oh! Ups Justin down, but now look at this Justin looking to make a comeback. I think Satoshi was trying to go for the ring out count victory. Oh, what's wait? What's Justin doing? Oh, look at this Satoshi trying to get the ring out victory. Can Justin make it back to the ring in time? Can he make it back to the ring in time? He's at nine. No, oh, Justin barely makes it back. And oh, goes for a springboard crossbody. Goes for the pin on oh, Satoshi. One. Satoshi was trying to get an easy victory off Justin here tonight by getting a ring out count, but Justin was able to make it back in the nick of time. Oh, she quickly rolling out, quickly rolling back in as well, playing some little mind games against the legendary high flyer. Now Satoshi again, going just into the corner, hits him with a big elbow. Oh, correction, big forearm, and hits a senton on Justin, but I think, oh, oh, look at this, Will Barrel, do oh! Will Barrel into a DDT! The reason Justin's a legendary high flyer. Justin is doing amazing work right now, just attacking every body part that Satoshi has. Oh, look at this. Oh, but Satoshi gets him in a Herakarana. I could be naming my moves wrong, by the way. I always feel like I named that one wrong. The thing in Herakarana is the one where you go completely around. Ooh. Big shot to the head. Could this just... Could this be Justin's offense? Could this be Justin's rally? Could this be Justin's chance to actually obtain his first pin here in PXT. Oh, look at this. Oh! Big DDT! And now we're at a count of five and Justin is just brutalizing Satoshi at this point. 
believe we're at six right now. Oh, but Justin going in and breaking up the count. I think Justin was debating on taking the ring out victory. Oh, look at this. Now this is a hair karate. My God, Justin right now is just, at least at this point, just abusing Satoshi. But it looks like Satoshi trying to make a comeback here. Justin still, God, just throwing him on the steel barricade, man. Satoshi, Satoshi, still not being able to do anything. Justin's just taking full control. Now Justin looking to come back in. Six, and quickly Justin goes straight back out. Oh! Gets caught into a big boot though, and now gets stomped in the face. Ooh, big drop kick. Ooh! Big suplex there into, oh, a big, correction, big super kick into a suplex. Oh! I think Satoshi took a little bit too much time there because right now it, it just turned into a brawl on the outside at this point. Oh, big drop kick from Justin. I think Justin's wanting to discipline Satoshi. One, for not honoring the memory of Bray Wyatt and two, showing him that he is not second fiddle to devil. There's a reason he's a legendary high flyer. Oh, both men realized it was close to not. Oh, look at that! Justin just dropped down to dodge the mist. Holy shit! That was that was actually pretty cool. Oh, Satoshi going for it. Satoshi looking to make Justin tap out here tonight with the boss lock. Is Justin going to tap out here tonight? Oh, it looks like Justin's going to tap out. And with that, Satoshi picks up a win, and Justin again picks up another loss. Damn. Honestly, though, you got to get Justin props. He got to. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, congratulations, Satoshi. Justin, I don't believe it's probably going to want to get some revenge here. But now it is on to our next Match. Satoshi was hella upset last week due to the events that happened to where pretty much he couldn't put away Devil. And not just that, he was also very upset with his um, employee Ace. Where Ace was even saying that he didn't need Satoshi to be out there that night to even pick up a victory against Devil. So with those words said, Satoshi told Ace to take on Devil, and if you can take him down, I'll see what to do with you. So now, it is a one-on-one -on -one match between Ace and Devil here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, what? This one kept the goddamn video shit. Oh, it's some bullshit now. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so a while back, because I was always conflicted about the dark and everything like that with how the play stays, I tried putting movies on them and everything, but they wouldn't play on here. His decides to play. Okay, cool. Fun. Awesome. Fuck you off. Fucking pisses me off today. I lowered my mic a little bit more because I'm a little bit loud. I apologize about that, ladies and gents. But Ace coming out here to probably prove to everybody that not only does he not need help, that he can put Devil away without Satoshi out here. Ace, the young up-and-comer, also wearing the bands as well. Not sharing the same ideology as his uh, boss. With that said now. Ace 
Ace now looks into the eyes of someone that Devil thought was the next generation of fear. The next generation of carrying the legacy of what Undertaker was able to create. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Devil is here. So we're going to break the fourth wall here. Um, pretty much, I decided to give Devil the bit of the Fiend as well as the new uh, version of Bray Wyatt himself. So uh, that's pretty much what happened here. And I feel like this is perfect because the entrance is Bray Wyatt's. It's the Fiend entrance, so of course the pants could work everything so I felt like it was just fair to do it like this and the mask though it's hard to see because of the firefly um, it is actually believe it or not it is a uh, the how uncle howdy mask doesn't look well actually from this angle it does look like it but it is the uncle howdy mask with the Bray Wyatt firefly symbol on it Honoring the man that he thought was going to be the next generation. I won't lie to y'all, I might actually keep those pants on him. <laughs> not, not, the, not the chest thing, though. No. That's actually going to be on uh, CGL. Again, breaking fourth wall, yes or no. But um, yeah, this is just a temporary outfit. If anything, I was debating on probably keeping the pants, but probably not. Um, CGL is going to keep the, like the top that Devil's wearing tonight. Uh, I was debating on giving it to Devil and just leaving it on him, but I think C. Jill fits more, so then it's a bit of remembering of both Luke Harper and Bray Wyatt. But now back into the thing. Ace looking at a new version of Devil. Honestly, I think a version I don't think anybody thought they see. And look at this! Devil immediately coming straight at it! Devil remembers what happened two weeks ago. Correction. Uh, our last two episodes ago since we had to go on a week hiatus. And I believe he's he's due for some vengeance here tonight. Oh. Look at this. Devil's not holding back. And I think Ace realizing it. Oh, this is a big strike. I think Ace just... Threw that out in fear, and now Ace is thrown over the top rope, and Devil stands tall! That I think Devil is channeling the Fiend a little bit, honestly. Oh! Gets thrown, oh! Beautiful maneuver! Gets thrown into the steel barricade, but then also gets caught into a senton-like move. Oh, Ace gets Devil into a snap suplex. Look at this ace quickly going into the ring but devil quickly following but look at this ace quickly getting with big successions looking to get a little bit of advantage off of the big striker himself devil throwing him to the ropes going under what's devil gonna go for here oh uh it's the miss up devil was looking like the block but quickly gets got cut in the grapple oh big punch there Oh, look at this devil again a serious striker but good powerhouse as well tries to get him into the corner hits him with a snake eyes and devil going for the pin here one two a big punch there devil again known for his exceptional striking prowess i don't know who that is so i'll have to check that later Ooh, I gotta give props to Ace though. He's actually holding up his own. Not super well, but right now he's holding up his own. Is holding down the offense of Devil. 
Now looking to damage the arm so then maybe Devil can't throw out that offense no more. But <laughs> the Devil's just not letting him have that idea at all. Oh, but look at this again. Ace. Oh, Ace with exceptional skill. Has Devil down. And goes for... F oh! oh that was a 640 centon! Is it enough? One! Two! Devil kicks out! Oh, lady, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at this! Oh, he's going for a top rope moonsault, but Devil quickly rises! Oh, here it is! Straight to hell! Is it enough? One! Two! No! Devil. And look at that, everyone's saying we're not worthy. And you know what? We are not at this point. Not because of this match. We were not worthy of having the time to... Oh, look at that. Devil quickly set up. And now Devil's on the outside. I think this is probably the most close we're going to see on Devil for a while. Oh, he just caught Ace. Ace went in for a top of crossbody, but gets caught by Devil. I'm telling you, Devil is practically otherworldly and very, very much a big threat here. PXC is now getting caught in series of strikes. Devil dishing everything he can to Ace. Ace kicks up. Oh, he was going to go for a flatline, but Ace was able to reverse it. So was Devil. Oh, hits him with a big body slam there. Oh. He gets kicked into the temple there. Oh, it looks. I think I see what Ace is going for here. I think Ace might be trying to run down the time. So then. Oh, no. Hey, oh, no. Ace is going to make a statement here, actually. I'm going to try putting down Devil. Oh, but Devil comes in with a big punch. Now throws Ace to the corner. Oh. Was going for a big clothesline, I think, but quickly gets caught. Now Ace hits a big suplex! What's Ace going for here? Oh! Oh, look at this. And showing the big display of power that Ace can sh show off to anybody! Oh, look at this. I think Ace going, probably setting up for Memento. Oh, he, mi he missed the Memento Moy. Ace missed Memento Mori. He overshot it. Oh, what's this? Look at this. I think Ace trying to make a bit of a rally here and showing off all his great skills to the greatest striker. Oh, look at this. Oh, goes for the Moonsaw lands it. I think right now Devil may be out. And now I... Do not, I cannot explain what the fuck he was going for there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I think he's going for the momentum. More and he hits it. One, two. No, Devil kicks out. Devil is not done yet. Oh. Devil quickly rising up, but gets caught by Ace. Ace realizing that he has to stay on top of Devil. He can't let him get up and rally at all. Oh, beautiful corkscrew crossbody. Right now, I got to get props to where it's due. Oh, Devil was able to get his knees up. Could this be Devil's shot to rally back? Could this be Devil's opportunity to bring it back? And oh! I think he was honoring the Fiend there, but Ace not letting him get any more space to breathe. Oh, and hits a big crossbody! Ace right now is proving to everybody that, yeah, he can handle the Devil on his own. Oh, but look at this. Maybe they speak too soon. Devil looking to make a comeback. And now it's a big body slam. Could this be Devil's shot here? 
Oh, it's a big flat line! Ace looking to bring it back in the ring, and it looks like Double's going back too, but gets caught in a big drop kick. Oh, I think Ace may be looking for Memento. Nope. I think he was, but Double got back up. Oh, big super kick! I think that may be it. I think that may be it. Oh, big brain buster. That might be it, ladies and gentlemen. I believe this is it. And I believe Ace is about to prove to everybody that he can handle Devil on his own. One, two, three. And with that, Ace picks up a victory on Devil by himself. Ace able to pick up another victory, proving to everybody that not only does he not need Satoshi, but that maybe he is possibly even better than Satoshi. Well, congratulations to Ace. He was able to pick up the victory and prove to everybody that not only can uh, he pick up a victory off goddamn otherworldly beings, but he does not need Satoshi to back him up. But on to the next match. Our next match of the night is going to be um, Apcole and Onyx. Now, for people who don't remember, or if you're new to the channel, um, Apcole has been trying to move on after his Division Switch match at BioWar. Ever since he won that, Adonis has been wanting a rematch, so then he can show to everybody that he deserves to be in the PXT title division. Apcole was over here saying that he doesn't need a challenge, uh, Adonis, Adonis is nothing to him, all this yik yak and everything, but Onyx came out and stepped up and said that if that's true then you can beat me. Now the reason this is big is because Onyx is one, I think the only, one of the two that have not been pinned here in PXT. Because right now I believe Onyx and C. Jill are the only ones in PXT that have not been pinned. So this is where there's going to be interesting to where Abcol accepted the match and now tonight it is Abcol versus Onyx in a one-on-one -on -one match. Nothing special, nothing new, but now the question is can Abcol actually put down Onyx? That is the big question. Sorry about that, we've got to switch it to the match. So we just got word on something Apparently, both Abcole and Onyx have not lost here in PXT, so we are actually completely wrong, and it looks like Abcole is one of the few as well that have not lost here in PXT. So this is to see who can continue being undefeated here in PXT. Okay. This got interesting. <laughs> Holy mother. If I had known that sooner, that would have been real fucking cool. Abcole being the misfit of PXT, uh, having to come in and prove that he deserved to be in the big title picture shot, mainly because uh, when he came in, he made it to the finals for the PXT title, but he wasn't able to capture it. The night, though. It looks like he's gonna have his God. He's gonna have his goddamn skills put to the test. Let's put it like that. Onyx, Central Fighter. Honestly, commend both men though, because they are both wearing the sashes. In other words, both men are honoring Gray White here tonight. Yeah, and just want to show off because you can see it a little bit more clearly on Onyx. Every superstar besides two people here tonight um, are wearing the sashes that have Bray Wyatt's symbol. Uh, pretty much the last symbol he had on his last comeback in WWE. Um, people don't know, Bray Wyatt was an exceptional wrestler in WWE, in the whole wrestling community in general. And sadly, he passed away two weeks ago. Uh, we weren't able to do a PXT show at that time. So we're doing at least a tribute thing right now. Uh, wish I could have done it sooner, honestly, because it feels... I don't know. I, I feel like we could have done way better, honestly. 
But like I said, both men wearing both sashes to honor the memory of Bray Wyatt. Well now, it's time to see who can remain undefeated in PXC. Will it be Ab Cole or will it be Onyx? Both men have not been pinned in PXT. Now I do want to point out, with PXT records, because people are probably going to go to the actual tournament, the tournaments does not count on our live show record. So I want to point that out real quick. It's in case people start questioning and saying, they have been pinned. No, it's these records are based off the actual live shows that we do. So heads up on that. Because we had a tournament to determine who was the PXT champion and who was the YouTube champion. Which in this case, technically, yes, both men did get pinned in that tournament. But in our live shows, they have yet to even lose or yet to have a chance of losing. And now this is where this got interesting. Onyx is now taking on Abco. Both men have not been pinned and both men are just going back and forth at this point. Oh, good arm drag by Abco. Abco going for the pin himself. Here it is. One. Uh. Ooh. Shot there. Oh, look at this, Onyx! What's Onyx going for? I think Onyx tries to steal the win here! Give Abco his first loss, but only gets a one count. Oh, misses that, but look at this! Oh, look at this! Look at that. Abco showing that he can do it, too. Onyx has to roll out. Abco showing his in-ring veteranness to the rookie, I want to point out, because this is an in-ring veteran against a rookie right now. I want to point out that Abco has been wrestling for, oh god, the longest time. Whereas Onyx, this is his first wrestling show and this is his first time actually like competing ever in like a business in general. Or a promotion, sorry. Oh, big punch there. Oh, big punch. Abco coming back at it, now punching away. Abco looking. Oh, big Big Pele kick right there. What's Abco going to do here? Oh, Abco's going for the... Oh, he went for the 450, but missed. But so, oh, both men missed their... Missed the big shots, I want to point out. Oh, gets... Gets reversed into a big DDT. Could this be Onyx's chance? Oh, hits a big one there. Oh, what's he going for here? What's he going... Oh! He just hit a flat line! One! Two! Oh! That was a beautiful transition into a flat line. That was magnificent. Oh! Up that ball to his back hard. Onyx going to the top. Onyx! Oh, oh, oh! What the fuck was that? Onyx right now showing exceptional skill against the in ring veteran here tonight. Look at that. And oh, he took a neck breaker. Right now, Abco's doing a event. Well, Abco's trying to do a fantastic job, but Onyx is actually giving him a run for his money at the moment. Oh! Shot there. What's Onyx going to do here? Oh, Onyx. Oh, here it is. A suicide a pile driver! And goes for the pin! No! Only gets a two count, but finally got a two count off Abco. Oh, Abco hits a snap suplex on Onyx. I gotta admit this, both men are doing great job on a great back and forth. Oh, good springboard clothesline. Onyx going straight to the top. Calling for Abco to come straight up. Here it is! Oh, God. A twisting, twisting arm drag. A top rope twisted arm drag. That's fucking cool, dude. Oh, it's a flat line! Is it enough? One! Two! No! Abco looking to try to keep his <laughs> undefeated streak going on right now. Look at this. Oh, goes for a frog splash, but misses. Both men have not been pinned in PXT. Oh, that, oh big punches in the face. 
think Abkul is now getting frustrated. Oh, it's a good duplex there. Now stomps in the face of Onyx. Oh, look at this. What's he going for? He's going for a submission. Looking to make Onyx tap out with a cross face here tonight. No, it won't be a first pin, but it will count as a first loss in PXC. Onyx looking to... Oh, Onyx looks to power out. He powers out of the cross face. Oh, big clothesline from Onyx to Apco. Onyx, could this be Onyx's rally? Oh, big punch. Big punches here from Apco. Apco needed this. Oh, big suplex there, but Onyx quickly rolls out. But look at this. Oh, damn, he landed on his tailbone. Oh, good maneuver. Big kick right there. Onyx doing a beautiful job at the moment. Oh, shot to the back. Down the arm. Onyx looking just to damage the arm. Honestly, people, I want to point out too that this this what did get set up almost like three weeks ago when Onyx came to save and defend uh, Adonis, actually. I don't know if I'm mixing up names. The, the, all the names sound like super close to each other. Oh, big shot to the steel barricade. But pretty much Onyx went to the assist of Adonis to help him out. Ooh, big shot there. And stopping Abcold from his assault. So this this is a couple weeks in the making here. Oh look at that. Onyx just taunting away. Well, I gotta give him spot. I gotta give him points. He actually like showed great sportsmanship there to where he allowed him to ready up. Oh! Down knee first there. Oh, it's a big back shot. I really should watch what I say. This is my favorite shoe brand? That is an excellent question. I don't have one, actually. Because I, 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 wear, I wear boots, honestly. Oh, there it is! He is the flatline! Is it enough? One! Two! They're not excuse! Of course, first loss! With that, Onyx has given Apple his first loss here in PXT. And I want to point out, he goes on at being undefeated. Correction, not undefeated, but not pinned in PXT. All right, well, either way, congratulations to Onyx on defeating Apco. Was able to just drop him down. Uh, on to our next match. This has been a... Uh, we're going on to our... I just said that like four times already. We're going on to the next match. Pretty much, uh, we're rekindling or re-looking at, at a rivalry that has been going on for a while between Gen X and Mox. So pretty much how this all started was Gen X was able to get his first victory at PXT. At Viral War, he decided to celebrate, but Mox just came out here and pretty much decided to shut that down. When I say shut that down, I mean shut it down. And not just that, gave Gen X another loss on his record. Then it turned into a whole feud to where Gen X was gonna pretty much take out Box. <laughs> they got into another match at PXT. Gen X was able to pick up the victory, but after the match, he decided to hit him with a big assault. Then, not just that, last week they were supposed to go against each other again for like a third round. Uh, that didn't happen. Instead, what happened? Gen X said that Mox wasn't worth his time, and just, just left to that. So, now, now... Oh, hey, what's going on here? Oh, look at this! Oh! Okay! Not no entrances at all, just Mox going straight at it! Ah, 50-50 on the country music. Alright, here it is. Mox coming in. Oh, good DDT there. Mox coming in with dull oh, vicious strikes. Mox a little bit upset. Not upset, honestly. Probably a little pissed just because of Gen X playing games all... Oh, last episode of PXC that we had. And, oh! Big suplex there. And now, Mox just... 
pretty much taking full control over Gen X now. Gen X, I think, was really underestimating Mox this time around. I think he was just thinking it was going to be another easy victory. Right now, though, both men have a win on each other, so this could be the perfect rubber band match right now. Uh, like I said, 50-50. I don't really have a favorite one with country music. All right. Oh. And oh. Oh! Irish backbreaker right there. Right now, Gen X just taking full-on control. There, and look at this. Gen X getting Mox up. Oh, I believe getting him to submission hold, actually. Mox was able to get out of it easily. And look at this. Mox now coming with a series of strikes. But he forgets that Gen X was a former UFC fighter. And look at this. Gen X going straight for the submission hold again. And, okay, I looked weird. It looked like he was shaking his ass. Go for it, though. All right. Mox getting out of submission again. Was about set up. Sorry. But, oh, Gen X attacking the knee of Mox. Dropping him down. And now Gen X looks to take control of the match. And X setting up. Oh, hits a big boot right off the bat. Oh. And Gen X, oh, I think Gen X was getting ready to set up for next gen, but Mox was able to reverse it, but so did Gen X. Both men, are, I think, already learning each other pretty well. Oh, goes for a knee drop and misses, and Mox, I don't know what he was doing there, but Mox getting out of danger, but now he's suffering through big strikes of a former UFC fighter. It is one, two. Oh, quickly kicks out. Fair video game, uh, Destiny 2. Sounds like I'm taking a survey. <laughs> All right, Mox getting Gen X to the ropes. Now throwing him down. Oh, Gen X was reversing it. But wait! Oh, it's up with a big rebound clothesline! Is that up? One, two, no. Gen X still kicking as well. Big bunch there. But Gen X going for Oh, look at this! Asylum! Gen X hits the Asylum. It, oh, correction. Mox hits the Asylum. Isn't it enough to put Gen X away? No. Gen X is still going right now. Oh, misses. Oh, and look at this. Oh, another Irish backbreaker. He's getting him up and now throwing Mox across the ring. Oh, but Genix is a big boot dropping him back down. I don't know if Genix was looking for something. Oh, good neck breaker there. Favorite WWE moment it has to be the Mick Foley Hell in a Cell match. Genix is waiting up top and now. Oh, comes down from the top rope to the apron with a big chop to the head. Oh. Shots there now. Oh, big elbow. Mox just taking full on control. Oh, stomping the face. Gen X quickly reversing. Oh, punching him. And oh, big. I don't know what to call that. I guess spine buster? Shit. Gen X trying to get Mox back in the ring. I think Gen X wants to end this. At, I'm assuming your favorite pay-per-view. Uh, I guess Payback, actually. They have actually pretty good pay-per-views. Oh, what is... Gen X is taunting away! I don't know if he was taunting away, taunting at the Bray Wyatt idea or anything like that. I'm not sure. Actually, I just realized... I think, I think Box lost the shash at the apron. I just realized he didn't have it on himself. And that's now just working on the arm. And oh, stomping down on the arm of Gen X. Ooh, Gen X was coming in for a big shot there, but quickly misses. But look at this now. Big punches. Very big strikes from Mox to Gen X. Oh, look at this. Mox hitting another asylum. Isn't enough to put him down. 
And with that, Mox gets another victory against Gen X here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I want to point out that that now gives Mox an even, even uh, skill tree on that. Like, he is 50 and 50. Whereas Gen X now earns his fifth loss here in PXT. Holy mother. Mox getting fucking some stuff out here tonight. But either way, congratulations to Mox on get, uh, getting some payback on Gen X for, uh, you know, dodging him last week. But now it's on to... Ah, another match. <laughs> because uh, this has been a rivalry going on for close to two months now. Where we have Rodrigo, the former PXT champion, going against the new PXT champion, Bugrip. Bugrip is able to take him down in a Bio War Iron Man match. And holy mother of God, was able to just put him down. I'm sorry, apparently we're getting word. Apparently. Rodrigo is allowing the kid to fight Bugrim. Oh, look at this! Bugrim, the PXC champion, was about to go to the ring for his match against the kid. And Rodrigo just attacking! This rivalry has just gone out of hand at this point. Holy crap, look at this. Security is coming to possibly pull away Rodrigo. It looks like they got Rodrigo out of there, but the match is going to continue. The kid is getting his match here tonight. Oh, look at this. Oh, big punches here. Ugrip was completely blindsided there, but now is continuing his match against the kid. The kid is hella irate because the kid was technically the runner up against the match against another superstar that is no longer here at BXT. Uh, we're not going to credit his name anymore, but pretty much he felt like that he should have been the runner up and added to that match at Hellfire, which is in two weeks, by the way. A correction is not this next Sunday, but should be that next Monday. So in another week. <laughs> so next week, other way tell fire starts. And look at this. Apparently the kid was doing some damage and the match didn't even start. So the kid was getting some cheap shots as well. And then the kid just wants to prove that he can actually just take on the champion. But I think the kid's just too frustrated at this point. To just take what the hell's given to him at this point. Holy crap. And now Bugip's doing... Fantastic job, just now welling on the face. The kid. Oh, big punches there. Oh, look at this. Hits an exploder suplex on the kid right now. Bugrip is taking control after a vicious attack against his opponent at Hellfire. One of his opponents at Hellfire, by the way. Because, no, Bone Tubular is in that match as well. And Bone Tubular has not actually done anything with these two at this point. Oh, I think Bugrip is going for another, oh, Exploder, but quickly gets reversed by the kid. It's the spirit of Bray Wyatt. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what happened. Oh my god. Oh, here it is. Oh, big knee shot. Right now, the kid is just taking control. And oh, look at this! It's a shooting star splash! Here it is! One! Two! Now, correction, a shooting comet splash. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, the kid is taking full on control, looking to probably just give Bugrip another loss on his record. I think that's all the kid is maybe caring about at this point. So right now, the kid only has one loss on his record. So does Bugrip since last week. He did lose against Rodrigo. Now this, oh, drops it for Snake Eyes in the corner right now. Bugrip, I think, is just trying to just stay in this. Bro, well, look at this. Hits him with a... Oh, he was way too close to the ropes. Way too close to the ropes. Big shots there. Oh, look at this. 
The kid calling his shot against the PXC champion. Here's a drop kick from the top rope. Right now, the kid is just taking full on control in this match. Oh, close line there. And his big shots to the face. Kicks him on the forehead. I believe that might have dazed the kid. And right now, Bugrip Grip is just taking control. I think Bugrip Grip is trying to make a statement here that he can handle anybody that comes his way because he wants to prove that he is a dominant champion in PXT. Oh, look at this! Oh, it's a Bugrip Grip out of nowhere! Here it is, ladies and gentlemen! One, two, no. You gotta give, you gotta give him props though. He somehow is still able to hit that. Uh oh, oh, look at this. Are you about to see it here? Unforgivable. And looking to put down the kid. No, the kid still kicks out. In the corner, Bugle going in for a big clothesline, and the kid's down now. And look at this! Look at this! Bugle showing anybody and everybody that he can put it down! Wait! Oh, beautiful reversal from the kid to Bugle, and Bugle rolls out! I guarantee you, if he hit that, the kid probably would have just been out. Oh, hits the missile drop kick from the top. The kid was taking some cheap shots. I want to point out was taking some cheap shots against the PXC champion himself. The stoin Bugrip back in. Now question is, what's the kid gonna go for here? Because he already got caught in a Bugrip. He got hit with Unforgivable. He's taking some heavy damage for the PXC champion already. The question is, is is he close to being out? You know, is he close to being out of the picture? Oh, big clothesline there. And I don't know the kid's going for it. I think the, I think the kid's debating on going for the shooting comet. Ooh, big shot to the face. Oh, Bugrip was able to dodge. Bugrip probably looking to rally here. Hits a... Oh, hits an angle slam! Here it is! No! The kid was too close to the ropes and immediately rolls out. And now, Bugrip just taunting away at the P showing everyone that he is the PXT champion. The kid, look at this, both men just staring at each other. The kid thinking what he needs to do to put down the PXT champion. I swear to God, I think what he thought was going to be an easy ass match. Bugrip is showing that he not only went to absolute war against Rodrigo, but he showed that he can take any and all offense. That's one thing I'll say from re-watching the clips from BioWar, because we're editing it out BioWar as well, so then it will be coming out soon, hopefully before Hellfire. Uh, right now, we just barely finished the first match. Honestly, we're debating on cutting a match, because that one match did take a little bit longer than expected. But that's still up for debate right now. Now the kid and Bugrip fighting on the apron. Look at me, I'm right there. I look fabulous. But either way, I have two other colleagues. Why are they not talking? Their mics are muted. Why? I get the screen time. All right. The kid rolling the champion back into the ring. And I believe now, is he going to go for shooting Colin? Or is he going to go? Yes, no, he goes for an elbow drop. Now going back to the top. And shooting Comet on the PXC champion. Is it enough to put him down? One, two. Bugrip kicks out of another shooting Comet splash. And the kid is shocked right now. Not only did Bugrip just take a hill fucking vicious assault before the match even started. Oh! Great neck breaker there. Not only did he take a vicious assault before the match. Oh, look at this. I think the kid's thinking one more shooting. Coming to put him down. And who knows? That could probably be it. Is it enough to put down the PXC champion? 
It was enough. Oh, look at this, Rodrigo. Big Rip realizing he got another loss on his record, and Rodrigo's just laughing on top. And look at this. Big Rip looking to go to the top. Go to the entrance. Are we about to see a brawl here tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, are we about to see another brawl here tonight? There it is! We're about to see the biggest brawl in history again! It's Bio War all over again! Hellfire. Right now, these two men are focused dead on the dead on their former opponents, which in this case would be them two fighting at Bio War. But they're so dead spaced on that that they're forgetting about Bone Tubular. Because if anything, Bone Tubular could do exactly what he did for the number one contendership shot. Steal the win. On to the next match. Just want to point out here, ladies and gentlemen, that we figured out what happened last week. So last week, it was supposed to be Super versus C. Jill. And finally, a one-on-one -on -one match to see what these two have against each other. We have found out why C. Jill actually refuse to show up for the match. See, Jill believes that Super doesn't deserve the shot for the PXT YouTube Championship. Mainly because not only did he not be able to defeat Titan on the first episode after Bio War, but also because he has a big losing streak if you look back on it, which is true. Super has the biggest losing streak of his life. So, because of that, see, Jill wants to see if he can actually put away somebody that embarrassed him and that's true full on embarrassed him and that man was none other than the king slayer himself g7 so tonight for the main event it is super and g7 in a one-on-one -on -one action super right now is pretty Super is pretty fired up at the moment, mainly because he wants to fight C. Jill. He wants to show everybody that C. Jill can be beaten. Because right now, for everyone not knowing, C. Jill is undefeated in PXC. Correction, he is unpinned in PXC. He does have a loss on his record, but that was a battle royale. That was not one-on-one -on -one pinfall action. Even in the tournament, he did not get pinned. C. Jill is 100% undefeated in one and one action on PXC. He hasn't lost in a singles match. The man literally amazes everybody that comes in to PXC history. Honestly, before one person left PXC, I was excited to see him going against CJ, but now we can never see that match, sadly. But if anybody else makes it to that spot, holy crap, can hopefully y'all guys take him on. The Super's a little bit irate at this point because he wants to put down T. Jill, but T. Jill gave him a test, which that test here tonight is to defeat the man that embarrassed him, that literally embarrassed Super, and that is the King Slayer himself, G7. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to point out G7's record here is phenomenal. Now, when I say phenomenal, I don't mean like phenomenal, phenomenal, but he has only lost two times. Now, both those times, the only one of those times, he lost one on one pinfall action. And because of that, he was not able to fight for a number one contendership shot at PXC. So, honestly, you can imagine him also being a little bit frustrated as well because he could have probably had that match. He could have had the match and had a shot at the PXC championship right now. But because of what happened, uh, he's back at the bottom in the mid cards, and I believe he thinks because now he is main eventing here in PXT, he can probably move him up to get another title opportunity at Hellfire. Not the title match at Hellfire, but the opportunity match. Which who knows? He's probably good. And again, I want to point out why we don't have music playing for their entrances is mainly to avoid copyright. PXC is getting edited down. They will have music on the edited version. If you guys want to check those out, go ahead and check them out if you guys want to catch up. Right now, we're barely at episode 7. But right now, we're starting it off. It looks like Super is doing his frustrations on G7 right now. Really dominating the Slayer. Yeah, look at this. Super is really... Oh! 
Super is really pissed off. Not just the fact that he's not fighting CG tonight again, but the fact that he he was literally embarrassed by G7. G7 has probably dropped his career the most. Because G7 is a giant slayer. He's a legend slayer. He wasn't able to become a goat slayer, sadly, but he's pretty much put down everybody that he sees fit. Hell, he's a god slayer at this point. Right now, Super and G7 main eventing here, and Super is full on taking advantage of G7. Well, look at this G7 looking to get out of the bear hug. Oh, look at this. Oh, a twisting neck breaker from G7. Oh, look at this. Big shots. Big shots right there. Looks like Super is finally taking things seriously. Super has been purely on a full-on losing streak, I want to point out. Mainly, he has won one match in his career, and that one match has earned him the title shot. But his record is actually probably, if not the second worst in PXT. Third, actually, I'm sorry about that. Depending on tonight, it could possibly be tied for second. Right now, Super is having so much trouble on like actually picking up victories to where I think this is actually a perfect opportunity to prove that he can actually step up by taking out G7 himself. G7 coming up with a big leg streak to the giant. Oh, look at that old oh, G7. Being smart, quickly rolling out when Super's rolling out, catching him so that he doesn't get any breaks. One thing I'll give G7 is that, holy crap, I'm surprised he does not have, a, you know, like an actual title opportunity yet here in PXC. Oh! Drops him down. Big punch. Oh no, what's going for a big punch? Quickly missed. Look at that. It's down. Oh! D7 was looking to take him down with a clothesline, but he forgets that he's fighting a giant! I think there's also a perfect opportunity for Super to show that that win was probably nothing more than a goddamn fluke. That's Super quickly getting the ring. I love that G7. G7 playing some mind games a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, here it is. It's a big choke slam to the. Oh, look at that. Gets slammed, but immediately rolls out. G7 practically no selling it. That's choking the giant and hits him with a big gut shot, but does not get him down. Oh, it's a big DDT. Right now, the mountain known as Super is still standing pretty strong. Because he's not falling to quick moves like a clothesline or a big gut shot. Oh, big reversal right there from Super Super now. Coming back at it with big strikes. Getting G7 up with a suplex. And oh, tosses him to the outside. Oh! I think Super's going for an elbow. Quickly misses G7 coming back at it. Super. Oh, lifting him up over his head. Hello, how you doing tonight? Welcome to PXT. We are at our main event where it is Super and G7 fighting off to where G Super is pretty much trying to prove that he is worthy of the PXT YouTube title shot that's happening in next week. No, correction, next Monday. Not this Monday coming up, the one after that. It will be PXC Hellfire. That's our big show if you guys want to come on and see that. To where Super will be fighting for the YouTube Championship. Super right now is taking full on control. G7 has had no shape or form any, like, start in anything at this point. Holy crap. Oh, look at this. G7 looking to make a comeback. Oh, attacks the leg of Super. Perfect opportunity there. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, geez. Honestly, this is actually the most, like, non-G7 match we've seen. G7 usually takes full-on control of the match from the beginning all the way to the end. That or he has a good back and forth. This one has been pretty much all super surprisingly, but it looks like... Oh, look at this. Look at this. Kingslayer. Okay, I guess I was wrong. G7 hit Kingslayer on super. Is it enough to put him down? No. Super kicks out a King Slayer right now. Oh, look at this. Oh, Shock DDT. Is that enough to put down Super? One, two. No, Super is still going.
All right, what's what's G seven going for? G seven's going to the top. Going top man, going for boom! Was going for a big chop, but super quickly dodged it and hits him with a big drop kick. Right when G seven's down. Oh, big shot right there from Super. Super. Now working on the arm of G7. This, honestly, if Super can get a win off of G7, that'd be big for him. Big boot, by the way. Ah, oh, big chop to the forehead of G7. Honestly, I'm being serious. If Super gets a victory here, this could be really big because G7 has been almost completely dominant here in PXT as well. Again, how has he not had a title opportunity? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, here it is. Leave we're going to see Super Yonagi. Here it is for the win against G7. One, two. No, G7 kicks out of the Super Yonagi. Oh, I think Super is going to go for a second. Here in Nagi. No, oh, looks like trying to just probably wear him down a bit more. But G7's not going to have it. G7's not going to have it here tonight. Oh, look at this, man. Both men are just practically battle. Goddamn, just clawing at each other at this point. Holy crap. Big shots to big shots. <laughs> I think G7 was just trying to get Super down. Super. Look at this. G7. Asking for the crowds. Name and goes for him over the top. Dive. Right now, G7 is in control. Can G7 prove to everybody that his win was cemented? It wasn't a fluke. It wasn't one time. I think G7 just gets to go for one more King Slayer. That will put down the giant again. Right now, G7 taking full on control over the giant, the seven foot tall giant right now. Right now, we're at a count of six. Seven going for G7 going for the big body chop. And now, G7 getting back in the ring. Please stopping the count. Yes, looks like he went to stop the count and he's looking to get Super back in the ring. He wants to finish this in a pinfall. Look at this G7 just stalking his prey at this point. Just stalking his prey. Waiting for Super to get up. He wants to fight Super. Man to man. Oh, goes for the big chop. Oh, misses it, but down. Lands it. Oh. Big clothesline. G7 going to the top rope. What's G7 going to go for against the Giant? Goes for a big leg drop and misses. Oh, misses the big boot, I believe. And now gets caught in a big bear hug. Super looking to make G7 tap out here tonight. Yes, the angle looks weird. I'm sorry. What's G7 going to do here? Is G7 going to tap out here tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Are we going to see G7 finally tap out? No! G7 still being the fight as possible. Being the damn slayer that he is. Oh! It's a big chop there. Oh! I think G7's looking to rally here tonight. Oh, I believe G7 is looking to end this. Looking to become a two-time giant slayer. Here it is for the win. One, two, no. Super kicked out. Of the King Slayer. Holy shit. I'm actually impressed right now, ladies and gentlemen. But look at this. It looks like he's going for it again. But no. Super's not going to allow it. Super's not going to allow it here. And he hits a big choke slam. Oh my god. Is Super actually going to be able to put away the King Slayer himself? Here it is. Super Yanagi. I believe Super has just defeated G7 himself and with that super claims his second pin oh wait what's this look at this oh my god both men are eye to eye to each other
Man, I really, God, I can't wait for Hellfire. <laughs> I literally can't wait for Hellfire. I want to see G7 versus C Jill, dude. I think that's going to be fucking fire. So just to point out, on September 11th is when PXT Hellfire is going to be happening. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. So September 11th is when PXT Hellfire is going to be happening. So if you guys want to come, actually, I just realized that is a, oh, that's a day, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh no that is a day oh god i okay we're not doing it on september 11th <laughs> we're not doing it on september 11th <laughs> okay it's hellfires in two weeks hellfires in two weeks fuck fuck that we're not doing it on september 11th <laughs> that, that is bad timing okay so in other words uh in two weeks pxc hellfire will be happening because I don't like the idea of doing Hellfire on September 11th. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys did. And also, again, want to just say rest in peace to Ray Wyatt. He, he's oh he's going to be surely missed. I mean that. Because I'm not joking with y'all. He, like, he kept me in wrestling during COVID. And how I even, like, legit called out just to watch his like wrestle that's how much he was like legit keeping my attention on wwe and that's that was great at that time and that's why i've always been a big fan of him but either way thank you guys for watching like subscribe share this video with guys friends you guys enjoyed watching the recording version of this but uh yeah we'll see you guys next time peace out